Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to write a function from a graph. There are a few things you want to look for when you're looking at the graph in order to derive the function. The first thing is you're going to want to look for the power of x. If it's x to the first, the graph's going to be going in one direction, right? Like one line. If it's x to the second, the graph's going to be going in two directions. If it's x to the third, the graph will be going in three directions, and so on. You're also going to want to look to see if it's a positive or negative slope. For example, if you start from left to right, like you're reading, this is a positive slope. You can think of if there's a little man who wants to, like, you know, walk up, he can walk up the hill, right? It's a positive slope. But if you have a line like this on a graph, the little man comes over, he can't walk up that, right? He has to rock climb up a negative incline, which is a lot more difficult. This is a negative slope. That's a positive slope. That's how you can tell. With a parabola, right, this quadratic equation that goes in two directions, it's a positive slope if it makes a smiley face. It's a negative slope if it makes a frowny face, like that. You're also going to want to look for the y-intercept where the line crosses the y-axis on the graph, you're also going to want to look at the slope. The slope is the rise over the run. Is it a steep slope, right? Something that, you know, is going to be really hard to hike up? Or is it a gradual slope, something that's going to be easy? Is it, you know, with a steep parabola, it's going to be something like this, right? Whereas, a, you know, not so big, of a slope, right, like maybe more like one half, it's going to be more of a gradual parabola. I'm Rachel, and thanks for learning with us today.